Well, good afternoon, folks. On this uh, GM 5.3 liter LS, this is the L59 with the uh, cast iron block, so it's flex fuel. Uh, finally got more stuff done to it. I've got uh, sensor harnesses plugged in after putting a little dielectric grease on. You know, it's all bolted down into the engine compartment with the engine rest but that's about it today i uh, see so had put the uh can't remember what was the last update had put the uh, uh dampener on there and torqued it i think that was included today uh, uh other day got the uh bracket put on for the ac compressor got it all torqued at at least 30 foot pounds and then put the compressor in place its sensors are all cleaned up and plugged in today and also the power steering pump assembly same torque on those same size bolts and then uh, finally put the coolant temp sensor in and so forth since uh, the chains out of the way not to break it got the brand new water pump and thermostat housing uh, this uh, water inlet housing or, or thermostat uh, 11 foot pounds on those two little bolts and I did them 10 because my torque wrench trying to go to 11 didn't feel right I don't want to break them off the water pump bolts your first pass you go 11 foot pounds and on the six bolts starting at the inside of course working your way outwards and then uh, up to 22 foot pounds on the second pass there and those I did fully torque and uh, I bought the pump and the uh, inlet there the same uh, manufacturer to make sure they would fit and they had two different ones available one for an original type pump and one for the new pump Personally, the previous pump that I bought from an auto parts store, I think it may have been better. It actually had a rear cover on it that can be taken off to work on the thing instead of a deal pressed in place. And if yours has that, um, the uh, water pump cover bolts on the rear is 11 foot-pounds. Then I put the uh, tensioner for the fan belt. 30 foot pounds I did on the bolts I can't find the specs maybe there can be higher but that felt good at least they're not less and they're all even torque uh, the alternator will not be going on yet because I need to get the whole intake and everything on there first it's easier that way I do have the uh, cable here and then the cable that goes to alternator reconnected and the one for the linear for the C and power supply for the CB radio. Roof leaks here, so I like to keep that covered up. I was going to put the intake in today, but it was dirtier than I thought. I'm going to put the picture of what I found on the cover of the video. Let's take a little walk. Here is the uh, dielectric grease I used. See if you can read that. This is the super lube I've mentioned in previous videos that uh, seems to be working nicely. On uh, the intake manifold for that LS, I noticed it was grimy inside there, and I didn't like that. Tried to scrape it out, took a, a rag. As a matter of fact, I'll show like I did. Just pinched a rag, basically, with it folded, stuffed it down the hole, daubed them out. Yeah, that helped a little bit, but it wasn't sufficient. So I started making some phone calls to ask what to do. And uh, decided I better clean it out with soap water to do something. Well, when I open the intake, I remove the throttle body right here I had a puddle sitting down in it that's where I had it all wrapped up covered to keep bugs out as I started the disassembly I'm gonna leave that off the rag on there 
and also there was a puddle of oil inside of here so I had to uh, daub it out with a rag on there but I couldn't get it clean enough so here we go again laid it down and took don't highly recommend but hey it worked scraped the corners down with the tip of that needle nose I using that because it's rounded instead of like a flat screwdriver that'll gouge in there all that crummy buildup from the old oil coming from blow by on the rings has gummed it up and that'll restrict airflow it slows it down when there's all kind of rough surface instead of being smooth like the outside and just while it was dry ran the brush all the way up in there best could and get that stuff out turn it over clean it all out much as possible then uh, I was recommended to try to use some engine degreaser because the alcohol and the brake clean could be a bad thing on the plastic don't want to mess it up and have to buy one the engine uh, remanufacturer has a label on this stating to thoroughly clean the intake manifold or to replace it to prevent any debris from getting in the rebuilt engine you don't want that crap getting in the heads getting stuck on the valves or even uh, getting caked on the pistons and, and rings and anything it needs to be clean and this thing had 307,000 miles on the original engine 14,000 miles earlier I had replaced the uh, oil pump with a melling pump and put a new timing chain and I should have checked the uh, bearings better I had checked them it seemed okay but obviously I must not have checked the thrust bearing that was worn or maybe it wasn't yet you know I made the full mistake of switching to pins oil but anyway I'm going to I sprayed that in there brushed it out again and I'm gonna do that again and then daub it out with the rag down in the hole I'm gonna take it to the water hose and just blast it out good then use compressed air to blow it out as good as possible and leave it sit until next weekend so thanks for watching um, appreciate your comments and support. Have a blessed day.